Hey guys, Tilly here. Uh, welcome back to Tilly's Adventure. And we'll be talking about kind of like my arsenal for bowling. Um, you notice I like to wear uh, some shirts. Uh, I have a couple, couple hammer and 112 bagger. I have a uh, bowling brew tour, I believe it is. Uh, I think I got one from a steel sports tournament. I uh, entered up here in Japan. Um, I'm actually trying to work myself back in the shape so I can fit back into it. But uh, another note, I got these from Coolwick. I'm not sponsored by them. I just like the designs. Like this is like my favorite kind of the uh, Northern Lights being from Alaska. Uh, but today we're gonna mainly go over our my bag and my arsenal. I think I have I have eight balls I use total. Um, and so some nights might differ, like because I don't know till the night till the time I get to the bowling alley what patterns playing. This is a tournament and it's broadcasted like weeks in advance. Like I'll have. Uh, sometimes uh, PBA uh, pattern tournaments like I know this last month was Dragon so I knew Dragon was coming up um, but with uh, Friday nights the league we're doing right now is we don't have we don't know the pattern until the day uh, a day I get there so I bring my I bring all eight balls and I'll like sometimes leave some balls in the car or I'll just drag them all in because I just don't want to leave them in the car heat cold I, just, I'm, I am scared they're gonna crack um, <laughs> But another another note, so let's just kind of get into it. Uh, I'll start with my big ball. Um, I have the Hama Black Widow 2.0. It's like one. I have it in the pin down layout because I think it was too strong for me. I like. I really do like to. Uh, um, I really like to make this smoother like the big back end it has and it's a little bit of mid lane but sometimes the mid lane is almost too much so i definitely have to step down and when i do have to step down i would step down to the dark whip i have this more of a kind of well pin up but i just have big hands so i have it right on the ring finger this ball i find it more um Smoother, I got a little more, uh, a little stronger layout so I can get it more to uh, come back a little faster, but it's still not as strong as the 2.0, but it's still a big ball and it's actually one of my favorites right now in the bag. Like it kind of can, it's very versatile and it'll go in any oil pattern really out there. And then for the next ball, I got, well, I don't have an exact feel of where it's in the bag. I haven't really used it in a tournament. I won this in a tournament uh, a couple, like last month, and just kind of got it drilled. I tried to make it really pin high and really strong, but um, it didn't exactly come out like that. But it's still, it has that snap at the end, which is, is okay, which is good for me at least. But I, I, smooth, I made this ball uh, a lower grit so it doesn't snap so hard, but it's very smooth and um, smooth and very uh, controllable. But this is the, the Motive Supra in, 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 well, Envy, I think it's Supra Envy. Um, this ball, as seeing the reviews of being it very, uh, this ball being very you know, smooth and controllable, that I really liked it and I wanted to put it as strong as layout as I could because I figured my Dark Web and my Black Widow being somewhat pinned down, they're more for versatile, for being versatile than the motive. I just really want this to crank over and it being so smooth and how it cranks, I'm actually really enjoying this, how it really comes into a roll phase, turn big in an early roll phase. So, um, and it just obliterates the pins. It's really fun to watch. And brings this into another ball that I have. Another ball I have, we would go the Hammer Black Widow Ghost. I like this ball for the longest time, but being on the those uh, PBA patterns and the one the fours and uh, one one the threes, one the twos, this is a great house ball bet uh, house house pattern ball. So, I have altered the surface on this from this normal uh, cover stock of uh, the Pearl, and I just sanded it all down to like 2000, and now it's very controllable for me, and I can fit this in if I need that extra length, and it will fit right behind either the, 
the dark web or right behind the dark web. If the dark web is going a little too early, I can pull this ball out, make it get some length to it, and everything will be. Oh. And then as we move on to the next ball, the next ball is I'm not exactly a favorite, but I have used it for like uh, later in the block when you have a lot of like the urethanes and everything else going in the lane. You really need that ball to come back. Even though I put this ball as a pin down, this ball is very snappy at the end and sometimes it's almost uncontrollable, but it's like good for like the mid block or like later in the block. It is the hammer scorpion. I just love how uh, my thumb hole right between the pinchers. It's just hilarious to me. But uh, this ball I have also pinned down. Sorry, I don't know all the layouts. But um, this ball is uh, has got me in the tough tough spot. Got me out of those tough spots when uh, the other balls were just like too snappy or. Or coming off too early this one is a little bit more length being like a hybrid and then it just really comes back hard so if, you, if you're able to master that for that oil like how it's going to come back like it's perfect like it's it's a good house ball i have it set up really good for like a house shot um it's a little strong for a house shot so sometimes i'll leave this still in the, in the bag um, on to the next ball we have my um obviously my my big favorite right now, the Hammer Raw Solid. With this ball, I also have pinned down, but I love this ball. If it's any burn up lane, anything, this thing, this ball comes out. Like, I can be trying to go across the lane and fighting a cliff or something, but I'll just go right back to the right, go straight up, and it's gonna fight, go through any wall. There's no have to fight a wall because I'm riding that wall the whole time. I'm not going to fall off any cliff. I'm on the cliff and it's going to come back. I never had a problem with this ball. Um, and it's like one of my ultimate favorites for house uh, short patterns. Uh, I'll use it at first with the big, I'll use it as if it's my big hooking ball on the shorter patterns like Cheetah. And this ball has got me a lot of places and it is very fun to use. And coming to my last two. I have the the famous purple hammer, purple urethane. It is my oldest ball, um, and of all the balls, I people with the house pattern, this almost hooks too much. This balls. I don't know how to explain it. I think I just need to upgrade because it's, I think it's one of those 2016 versions, but it hasn't got to that uh, um, illegal yet in the parameters of the USB-C. But I think I just need a new one just in case they want to do like a fitting check. Because sometimes I feel like this hooks more than my raw and it's scary. For the urethane, as this ball, like it's, when you get to those like PVA patterns, it's, it's, definitely like touchy like almost as touchy as the other balls can be but I really enjoy using this one and it's was my spare ball for the longest time but onto that I actually have a new spare ball now which I actually just redrilled I have the Columbia 300 white dot just something simple uh, just so I can not have to worry about my hand placement not really have to worry about anything just kind of just aim and point uh, I have had problems with this ball where um, on the shorter patterns, I have been able to hook it. So out of curiosity and just having fun, I redrilled it so I have a pin up layout. Before I had the pin directly in between my, uh, my hand span. That way, if I put as much hook on it as I wanted and I, it would not turn. Well, apparently I have enough revolutions that it's gonna hook anyways. <laughs> And then with this ball, it's mainly my spare ball, a good warm up ball. Like I really try to get my wrist warmed up and really try to crank this ball, get some strikes going and before I get into my bigger balls where I try to really have to focus on like accuracy. They're like, this is a good ball to like get my wrist warmed up. Uh, 
for practice before tournaments or leagues, I, it sits on it sits on the rack until I need an actual spare, or I'm gonna practice a couple spares for the last in those like last couple minutes of the practice because I want to find my line as quick as possible because uh, score matters in those ones. Practice, I'm, I'm like when I practice on normal normal days with like, with everyone else with, with the kids. I'm just going to warm my wrist up, race the game, warm my wrist up, but uh, normal tournaments I'm going to do as much, much as I can to figure it out as fast as I can. Because I go to practices other than tournaments and uh, league nights so I know how to hit my spares before I even get there. Uh, so uh, we went through all my balls, now we're going to go through her two balls, what we have for her set up for the upcoming league. And I'll try to help her work through which balls she can use uh, for which patterns and help her decide which way to go and uh, to get her mind in hopefully better than mine because I'm, I'm, I'm trying. But uh, let's see what she has. So first she's going to go with my first ball. My first ball. So first this ball is a, I think it's a Brunswick twist. Uh, these are all 14 pounds. I put all of her pins a little high. She's um, definitely working on it. Uh, she has a lot of wrist problems, so we're trying to get her the proper wrist brace right now. And um, she's getting better with it. Like I noticed when we put on that New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve party, um, her other ball was uh, either not really turning at all, because this one's a pearl and it comes back so much sharper. This one had the length and came in really well, and she started to get some good gains. She's actually starting. She's Still raising her average, but this is good. So uh, we'll see how she uh, focuses and gets through this league. And uh, which brings us to the next ball that she's got. Purple. A purple. <laughs> we got her. A purple. A purple. <laughs> but the th 3D offset. We were looking to get the, um, was it the Brunswick knockout? Yeah. But they only had 15 pounders and she's, can't throw 15 pounders. Uh, and the 13 and there was no good 13 pounders that she want but this was more of a surprise for her because it's that was last 14 pound before christmas is a christmas present this uh her twist was more of her uh, starter ball but she's definitely still getting used to this so i think we need to do some more adjustments with the finger holes since they're still she's still relatively new because uh her it's starting to hurt her fingers and uh trying to get some more pro shop love and get her the proper fit so Help her bowling a little bit more. Purple. Hey guys, uh, that's all we have for the day. But uh, I want to thank you all for coming, watching all the way through. If you really like the content, like and subscribe. Um, hope you see more in the future. And uh, thanks. Peace.